Well, good morning and happy Saturday, my beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, Candid with Carla. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. For those of you who have already subscribed, welcome back. I am a certified life coach. This is a faith-based channel. Happy Saturday, y'all. <clears throat> it is early. Um, we ain't that early, but it's early enough. It's 8.40. I guess that's kind of early. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 8.40. And I got some errands to run today. And I got some things to do. I need to make a grocery run. And so um, I got up. I didn't even sleep. Um, I, I didn't even go to sleep till late last night. Um, I have not been feeling my best, y'all. Like the last three days has been really tough for me. Um, these headaches ain't been no joke. They have been really no joke. But today I feel a little better. I will say that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, very thankful to be feeling a little better today. And so while I'm feeling my best, because it seems like when I wake up in the morning, I feel okay. And it seems like as the day go on, then the headaches start getting, you know, really bad. <clears throat> it was like that yesterday. But I woke up with a headache for the last couple of days, but it was mild. And as the day went on, it kind of progressed and got worse. Um, but this morning, my head doesn't seem to be hurting as bad. You know, it's very slight, like a faint kind of like. So while I'm feeling like I'm feeling, which is pretty good, I am going to go ahead on and run my errands um, so I can get back. Um, Walmart run, Kroger run, might maybe a TJ Maxx run. Um, that's why I'm kind of up early to go ahead on and get my stuff done. Even though I didn't go to bed till late, I've been up since like, I ain't gonna tell y'all the time. I don't normally stay up. I don't know what happened last night. Even though with my head hurting, I was up. I didn't go to sleep till probably 1.30 this morning. And I've been up since 7. So I've spent my time with the Lord this morning. It was so good. Oh my God, y'all. The Lord put in my spirit this morning. Y'all know when the Lord put a song in your spirit and you just got to look it up and um, play the song because he done dropped it in your spirit. He put a hymn in my song, in my spirit this morning. A hymn that I haven't even heard probably in some years because most of these churches don't really sing hymns like that well my mom's church do they still sing hymns at my mom's church i don't go to my mom's church my mom my mom and my mom and my dad let me correct that my parents both my parents they're still married they're still together they're still alive <laughs> um but my parents church which is happens to be my family church actually um i don't really go there anymore and um, they still sing old hymns, but I have not heard this hymn. I can't tell you when the last time I heard this hymn, but Blessed Assurance is what fell in my spirit this morning. And so I had to play it. And I ended up playing the C.C. Winans and then Shirley Caesars. And then I came across another version of it. I can't remember the name of the group, but they sang that song. And I done played that song over and on repeat this morning. Blessed assurance. Yes, Lord. Born of the Spirit, washed in His blood. Yes, Lord. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Whew. So I've had my praise this morning. And it's just a blessing to um, let, you know, that um, it's a blessing that God let that song come in my spirit, that he allowed that song to follow my spirit. And so um, I know it was nobody but him because I, I don't know when the last time I heard that, that, that him. I don't, I really don't remember. I know it had to be. Now, if I've been to my mom's church, I probably have heard it, but I haven't been to my mom's church in a minute. In a, yeah, I haven't been to her church in a minute. They don't sing old hymns all the time, but they do sing hymns. So, but it's probably been a, a couple of years since I've heard that song. And so just for the Lord to allow that song to come into my spirit this morning, that was a true blessing because it really blessed me this morning. So anyway, um, thank you, Jesus. I'm very grateful for that and grateful this morning. It just put a joy in my heart when um, you, you think about the words, you know, born of the spirit, washed in his blood. Oh, man, like that right there all by itself will get you just praising him you know what i'm saying so that was such a blessing this morning and it's still in my head <laughs> 
And so I just thank God that my morning started off like that. Um, I love when the Lord drop a song in my spirit in the morning times. It's very rare that he do. Most of the time, when I do my studies or I do my, my time with the Lord, I'll pray, I'll play like instrumental songs to kind of set the atmosphere. I never really play songs with lyrics to it. I just play instrumental songs to set the atmosphere while um, I'm, you know, praying and studying and reading his word in the morning times. But this morning, that was the song that played, even while I was reading. And I had to keep, and it was crazy because I kept stopping and just singing the song and praising God and then I'll go back to um reading and everything so it was just my my um, devotional time this morning was just very awesome and um, I do have a joy in my heart this morning so I'm very grateful and just thankful that I feel a whole lot better um this morning than I've been feeling the last couple of days but anyway so I'm grateful for that I don't want to ramble too long and make this video too long it's longer than what I expect it to be so I am going to go ahead on and um I'll be back. I will see y'all in a little bit. I'm going I'm to bring y'all to the store with me, okay? I might try something different. I might take my camera to the store instead of using my phone. Let's see how it's going to work out. Anyway, you guys, I'll be back. telling me that it's not recognizing my, my camera is telling me it's not recognizing my lens I have um it said readjusted or, or whatever I have taken it off put it back on taking it off put it back on it's not working and the crazy part is I've recently been looking for a new lens anyway for wide angle lens on my camera I just been kind of putting it off because I'm like I don't need it right now you know what I'm saying but in order for me to get wider angle I would love for my camera to have a wider angle a little frustrated right now but it's okay it's gonna be all right I'm gonna try to figure this thing out so it's a lot of Saturday traffic out here I'm headed to, I had to close my sunroof because it's hot and I'm a little frustrated but I am headed to the house and I will see you guys All right, you guys, I am back at the house. And this is, I guess, a grocery haul. I wanna share um, some of the stuff that um, I picked up. So I don't know if y'all, if I bought the last, I think on one of my last videos, I was talking about the kombuchas. I don't know if y'all drink those or not, but this is what I'm talking about, the kombuchas. 
It's raw kombucha and the flavor is ginger egg. Now my son said he don't like this flavor, but I bought another flavor too somewhere around here. But anyway, uh, it's a probiotic for your for your for your stomach. It's gut health type of thing, and I like them. I, they taste good to me, but um, I like them because, like I said, they taste good to me. Uh, he don't like the flavor of them, but I got this, and um, y'all, I'm so upset about my camera. I just, I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm so upset. I, I just don't know what to do. Anyway, I bought some of these seaweed. This is not the kind I normally get, the organic kind by Annie's, and I didn't see them. Um, so I'm gonna see how these tasted. Seaweed, this is a snack that I, I wish I could. I wish I was doing YouTube when the time that I videoed my husband tasting these for the first time. This a couple of years ago. I think that was the funniest video ever because, and it, I wasn't even doing YouTube. I just wanted to video him tasting them because he never tasted it before. And I figured his reaction was going to be funny. Anyway, I like them, but he didn't like them. And I can't remember what he said, but it was so funny. That's lost footage somewhere. Cause I, that been some years ago. But anyway, bought some of that. Um, I had a coupon. I, honey, Kroger be sending me coupons. <laughs> And, and your sense to be using coupons. Coupons, coupons, however you want to pronounce it. I say coupons, coupons, whatever. Um, yeah, so I bought this Home Chef Chicken Chili Verde Soup with Beans. See how that's gonna taste? I might eat this one day this week for me. Um, but, yeah. Uh, oh, I also bought me some protein, Chobani Complete Protein uh, Greek Yogurt Drinks. I only got two, um, and it's got 20 grams of protein in this. So I'm I'm trying to up my protein. Um, what else? Got me some blueberries because I want to start back doing my oatmeal on the stove and adding my blueberries. I also got these um, kind um, oats and honey granola cereal that I may use as well in my oatmeal. I actually meant to get me some yogurt, some Greek plain yogurt, and I forgot. Um, my kids like lunch meat, got lunch meat. I got these good things. These are gluten-free veggie snacks. They pretty good to me. I like them. Um, this is garden veggie flavor. It's made with rice. It's a good snack. I like them. They're real light. I'm trying to eat stuff like this to keep me away from potato chips because I have a severe weakness for potato chips. Like, and I'm trying my best to get away from them because they have been had me in a chokehold since I was a little girl. And the older I realize I get, the, the more and more I realize they are no good for me. None. So unless I can get some like baked kind and they ain't good. So it's either me make my own potato chips in the air fryer or veer off to something else that um, that uh, I'm gonna um, that's gonna keep me healthy. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> um, coconut water. I got the coconut water with the pineapple. I like coconut water, um, and so I try to keep these every so often. They're very hydrate. They hydrate you real good. They got nutrients and electrolytes in them. When we went on our cruise last year, we went to the Bahamas. I got me a coconut, a real live coconut water. When I tell you that was the best coconut water ever in my entire life because it was a real coconut, I was like, this, it makes this taste like trash. And this is good to me. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it makes it taste really good. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Got some bananas, got some apples, got some oranges, the navel oranges, got some chicken sausages. Um, oh, let me show y'all this Chobani sweet creamer. I've been trying to get away from this. Hold on. Y'all. I just found out the other day that these kind of creamers, which even with the zero sugar, have palm oil or some type of some type of oil in it. I'm like, why are they putting oil in the creamer? 
And y'all know oil is not really good for us. Palm oil, no kind of seed oil is good for us. So um, my, my son and my husband like this. So I normally buy this for them and I will drink it too sometime if I run out of my own. But I was getting the zero sugar. Um, but now I don't even want to do that no more. So I swapped over to Chobani. Um, and this is the kind of creamer that I've been using. And it's healthier. It doesn't have oil and all that other kind of stuff in it. So... Um, I got a whole bunch more other stuff. Got tuna fish and, um, oh, we're having pizza tonight. So most definitely, oh, let me get, let me show y'all my salmon burgers. Got this from the, um, the, the meat market in the back of the store. Put these in the air fryer and put them on some buns and slice up whatever you're going to put on there. They be so, 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 so good. I also try to, I like to keep raw honey because for my teas and stuff. I don't know if y'all like Sister Schubert, these little rolls that you put in the oven. I try to stay away from these because they bother my stomach. But when I tell you these things are good, my family love them. And so I think we may have these tomorrow. They may have these tomorrow with dinner. I'm thinking about doing chicken and something simple. Chicken and probably rice, green beans, something. I don't know. But... Those are so good. They're really, really good. And they come not just like this. They come in the bag too, but the ones in the bag are bigger. But these right here are bomb. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I think I'm going to go ahead on it in this vlog because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really have anything else going on today. Um, my husband, I may come back, but just in case I don't. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, you guys, I'm back right quick. I was so frustrated with my camera. I forgot to show you what I got from TJ Maxx. I actually went in TJ Maxx to re-up on my hyaluronic acid facial serum because I was out. And, you know, you can't go in there without finding some stuff that's cute. But let me show y'all this first. You know, I told y'all I've been dealing with headaches and stuff or whatever. But And I wasn't even looking for this. I just came across this. It's called the Miracle Headache Relief. It's a cooling and compression for fast, effective relief. Um, you put it on your head, like the entire part of your head. Of course, your hair probably stuck out at the top. Um, and it's for headaches, tension, pressure, relaxation, puffy eyes, stress, and more. Um, and so it's a form-fitting cooling gel. And basically, um, you just put it on your head. Uh, well, you put it in a cold use freeze in a plastic bag for three hours. So I would have to put this in a freezer for three hours in a plastic bag. And then you wear it on your head for about 15 minutes until um, it, it goes back to room temperature. But we shall see if this works. I don't want to have to use it tonight. So I thank God that my head is still not hurting. Second thing is, y'all know I'm a sucker for some coffee mugs, cute glasses. That's just my thing. And y'all know I love butterflies. If you don't know, you now you know I love butterflies. So I, I saw this. This was so cute. A butterfly coffee mug in this pink. So I love it. And lastly, now I done already washed this and put it to use since I've been home. I got my kombucha in here. But this was so cute. And it has um, flowers and mushrooms. It's like gold. I don't know if you can see that or not and then it got the straw in the top but I thought this was so super cute and so this was three dollars I think something like that four dollars but it was so super cute and then lastly <clears throat> so let me tell you the backstory before I show you um I don't know if y'all pay attention in any of my vlogs that I do for my kitchen and I had I drink tea and coffee I have a red tea kettle sitting on my stove. I used to, my kitchen used to be, um, have splashes of red all over a long time ago. I used to have little red stuff. I used to have these red bottles sitting on top of my cabinets and just red decor throughout my kitchen. And then of course I came back and I changed it. Well, I had ended up buying um, a red coffee kettle during that time and hence my, my knives that's been rusted or whatever that's still over there. Anyway, um, so I bought the red coffee kettle, I meant tea kettle for that. 
And then later on down the line, when I changed all of that out, I was like, okay, well, I don't want to use this anymore. I'll just put it up. And I bought a regular one, silver one with the wooden handle. And I really like that because I don't have to worry about trying to burn myself if, you know, once my teeth boil and everything. And my husband broke it. He broke it. And I had it for a minute. The silver one with the wooden handle, he broke it. And when what happened was uh, when he broke it, I, I had no choice but to, to use that one. So it was broke <clears throat> so i had not been able to find one every time i go to look for one with the wooden handle i was never able to find one well today just so happened i found one it's pretty and it got the wood handle that's so pretty y'all so i love it um and so now i'm gonna take that red one down and put it up and i'm gonna go back to using this and again i love the fact that when you warm it up when you warm your tea up, none of this gets hot. Like for instance, the one that I have on the stove now, it's the back side of the handle doesn't get hot because it's black. Um, I don't know what material it is, but the front side of it is is this material, the stainless steel. And of course, if you, when I in the part where you do this right here, this part is the same color as the handle material, but the rest of this is stainless steel. So it's been times where I open it and then my hand, my finger accidentally touches this part and it, it's hot. So. I don't have to worry about this with that anymore. So I end up finding my one that I had, you know, originally before he broke it. So anyway, that's all I came on here to say. Like I said, I did find my, I did re-up on my stuff, but I just had to share it with y'all. Oh, and the cutest thing, they got the butterfly inside of here. Ain't that cute, y'all? I think it's so cute. So, you know, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be drinking coffee or tea out of this. Um, but I thought this was just too cute. And they had other ones with colorful flowers on it. But I just, this gold attracted me. It was really pretty. Anyway. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to buy me another lens for my camera. Which I was going to do anyway. But I wanted to do it when I wanted to do it. Not because I had to do it. So now I have no choice. Anyway, guys. <laughs>